Sharecropping was similar to tenant farming, except it resulted in even fewer freedoms for the sharecropper. The landowner provided the tools, the seed, and the land. Instead of taking cash as payment for their rents, sharecroppers paid with a portion of their crop at harvest. The landowner determined the amount, sometimes it was as much as 50% of the total crop. This ended in more accumulation of debt, and it lengthened the contracts to pay off their debts. As sharecroppers often ended a growing season in debts to the landowner, and the only way that they could pay the landowner back is to extend their contract on the land, it created a de facto version of slavery, where slavery had already supposedly ended.